Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Elisa Flores, also known as Dr. E, and today we're going to be extracting DNA from a strawberry. And I have my lovely helper here, Rosella. But before we start, we've got to make sure we have all our materials. And attached to this video will be a protocol we need to follow along in order to do this experiment and what materials we need. So, we need our strawberries, right? Mm -hmm. We got our strawberries. And you need a Ziploc bag, and we're going to put those strawberries in those bags, and we're going to mash them up good. And then you also need a cheesecloth or a gauze and a funnel like this and an into a tube. But however, you can also use any mug you have at home with the funnel. And you will also need some rubbing alcohol and you're going to need to chill it in order to make the experiment um, go along smoothly. You will also need a one tablespoon measuring spoon and you will also need to pre-make your DNA extraction solution. And what's in here is one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of dish soap, and one third of water in here. And finally, you will need a wooden um, skewer here. So you need something wooden, plastic won't work, because this will help stick to the DNA. Because at the very end, you're gonna see how gooey it is, and you don't wanna touch it with your hands. So you're gonna put the stick in, and it's gonna collect all in the stick. All right, let's get started, you ready? Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we need one Ziploc bag and one strawberry. Actually, let's, you wanna do another one? We're adventurous like that. We're adventurous, yeah. And you wanna make sure you get all the air out of the bag. Perfect. And then you wanna mash it up real good. And so now, we're gonna add three tablespoons of our pre-made DNA extraction solution. Is it all mashed up good enough? Yep. We'll, we'll smash it up some more, no worries. Okay, so I'll hold it for you here, and then you put it in. Ready? One, two, and one last one. Three. Perfect. I'm gonna make sure all the air is out of the bag again. Okay, now you're going to remash it up together. And what this does is you're helping the DNA extract from the strawberry cells. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to carefully open this, not to get it all over us, and we're going to pour it through the cheesecloth and funnel into our tube here. Okay, do you want to do the honors? Sure. And if you want to wear gloves at home, you're more than welcome to do that. <laughs> you're reckless. <laughs> okay, whoa. whoa. <laughs> okay, keep pouring. Perfect. Do we do more? No, that's good enough. Okay. And now it's slowly going into our tube here. So this is going to be a slow process, but it's going to be worth it. So we'll get back to you. It finally went through our cheese clock here, as you see. We got about 25 milliliters. So now we're going to carefully move the funnel and just set it aside and maybe some paper towels over here. And so the next step is to add your cold isopropanol rubbing alcohol. Right. Now you wanna make sure you add this slowly, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna angle the tube just a little bit and then to make sure it goes along the, the side of the tube. Mm -hmm. okay. And make sure you have supervision with the rubbing alcohol. Okay, I'll hold the tube at an angle. Ready? Slowly, slowly. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm, I'm aggressive. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to let this settle, and then the DNA should be separate from the solution. So we're just going to wait about two minutes to let it separate out. Okay, so now it's been about two to five minutes, and you can see the DNA at the very top here has separated on top of the rubbing alcohol, and at the very bottom is the strawberry extract. Okay, so now carefully we're going to pick up the DNA extract with the stick. We almost got it. Ah, look at it. Guys, that's DNA right there. So with your extraction um, DNA solution here, how it works is that the soap lyses all the cells, which means pop open. So it breaks open the strawberry cells, allowing the DNA to come through. And the salt helps the DNA clump together. 
and then the cold isopropanol alcohol helps it separate out. You see here, the strawberry residue is at the bottom, alcohol is in the middle, DNA at the top. With that, that's how you extract DNA from a strawberry. Yay. We did it! High five! Ooh. Woo! Science!